Doing the same walk again this morning that I did last night, but um, much brighter now, obviously. And uh, oh, some ducks over there. Um, I'm going to continue on the path that. Sorry, dust on my screen. <laughs> I'm going to continue on the path that I took yesterday, um, but through the bush a bit because. Um, it was a bit dark through there and slightly creepy. <laughs> so it won't be creepy in the morning. And I assume it keeps following the river. Um, it's a really nice spot out here. Really lovely. Oh, hello, water birds. Hello. I think maybe we have a parent and a baby. Seems a bit smaller and it's making that mom, mom noise that I'm pretty sure every caregiver knows well. <laughs> There's um, a paved path across that side. Um, what's it called? John something walk. Maybe I'll get a picture of the little sign when I head back. But um, there's this one here, which is just a little um, a dirt path. And um, it goes closer to the river, so I thought I'd take this one. Such a nice walk. So the path forked back there, well, sort of hit a little T-junction, and I turned left back towards the river. I'm back on the paved one now, because uh, the dirt one converged with the paved one. And I think there's another little bridge here. What an amazing walk. So I guess this leads to the other side of the waterway. There's a little stagnantish pond there and uh, back over the river what a beautiful walk little doggos following the arena bye little doggo <laughs> and more people down there including the doggies person Oh, okay, I was wrong. It wasn't John anything. It's a Jim Wood walking trail. I'm uh, boiling my some water on the jet boil this morning. Uh, I'm just making some iced tea for Alexis, and um, you can probably hear it there because I've got it turned up quite loudly. I'll turn it down a bit.
so you can actually control it a bit which is cool um, I heated up the pumpkin soup in it last night and um, it was very fast I didn't have it quite as high as that but you can heat stuff up as long as you're able to stir 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 without stopping because otherwise it would burn it's really mostly designed for water I think like heating water and then putting like dried food in it or dehydrated food but if you're careful you really can heat up actual food in it um, anyway I was just gonna show you it's got this cool little thing on the side it's a bit gimmicky really but because you can kind of tell that it's boiled as it's boiling side goes red. <laughs> Isn't it cute? As I said, you know, maybe it's a bit gimmicky, but it's cute and I like it. Da -da -da. Still going higher. This amuses me no end. I'm so easily amused. Is it gonna go all the way up? Oh, I think it is. Oh yes, there we go. You can see on the top anyway. Here we go, all the way to the top, and lots of steam coming out. I really like my jet boil, so glad I got it. We're going in for another, um, another car wash. We're gonna get the $16 one this time. We're gonna wait for this person in front of us. It will be interesting to see if the bugs come off the front this time, because last time the bugs didn't come off, did they? Uh, I would like to see if the bugs come off, and also the weird stripes that are left that last time I cleaned the windscreen. I love going through the car. Oh, Jesus, look at me afraid. Oh, that might be the underbody, underbody wash. <laughs> that could be me afraid. <laughs> Splatty, splatty, splatty. Are stone chips. No, they are insects. I just scraped one off. Gross. Um, and it's still got those yucky stripes. So I guess it really just needs a scrub. Maybe I should actually give it a scrub. What? Hand wash my car. This is the cheapest I've seen petrol in months. Stopped at a place called Din Din's. It's an Asian fusion place. What have we got? Migoring, uh, broccolini, something something, choy sum maybe, and a delicious eggplant dish of which I already ate a piece because I couldn't wait. Yummy yum. This is in uh, Albury. She came to the Bonagilla Migrant Centre and um, they stayed here for about a year. I was very conscious of the fact that Australians have generally a negative attitude to non English speaking migrants. So, all of the different cabins here, this was called Block 19. 